Learning from the work and mistakes of others have always been a practice followed throughout the ages. Now here is an example of learning from others while using the internet. Let's say you are visiting a website and you're seeing certain things and you're wondering uh, probably how that person might have achieved those things. Now certain browsers uh, will be discussed in this tutorial to show you how you can look at some of the source that is being generated behind the web page. In order to look at the source code behind the web page in Internet Explorer, all you got to do is just go to the view menu and inside the view menu you click on the source and as you click on the source, the source behind this particular page will going to pop up. Now some people link their source code editor to front page, some link it to the notepad, some link it to the other editors. On this computer it has been linked to HTML kit, so the entire source code will open in the HTML kit and now you can browse through the source code written behind the scene that includes some JavaScript as I can see, some CSS, and then followed by some HTML at the bottom. There may be some other code that has been written behind the scene that we are not able to see here. Now, let's say you're using Firefox. In order to look at the source code in Firefox, you do pretty much the same thing. You go to View, and now you do the page source. Now notice in Firefox, you also have a shortcut to this, Control U, and Internet Explorer does not give you a shortcut. So if you click on it, for my Firefox, the so Firefox has its own editor which uh, allows you to see the source code that has been written behind the web page. And this is how you can look at the source code written behind web pages. Now, always remember this is only the source code that is received by your browser. So everything that you see is client side. If the source code has been generated using any server side technologies, you would not be able to see it. So you would only be able to see what is generated and can be understood by your browser.